What is going on, everybody? Back on it. Berserk Mangas. Manga. Chapter 206-207. Coming off of... Uh, I guess we're going to see our little mini Avenger squad in action for the first time. Uh, we rolled up to the village with the old man. Um, nobody seems to want us here, but we're here anyway, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if this priest is just doing priest shit and not wanting us there and saying this is a test through God and we'll get through it and yada yada yada. Or if he's been like... Cause anybody that seems to be involved with like the Holy See and the hawk with the serpent i don't know if they've got kind of like a haze over themselves like a griffith influence or what i have actually absolutely no idea um we had the good discussion between isidro and the old man kind of like two opposite ends in life right now um and essentially the biggest questions i have which i don't know if we'll peel back to it will we see the skull knight and the older witch actually have a conversation or is that or like if and when we return like He's going to be completely gone. I would like to see that. Will we get it? Who knows? Um, probably the other biggest questions are where the allegiances lie. Um, now that we've kind of been shown that the astral world contains everything in it, or the astral plane, whatever you want to refer to it as, it contains everything in it that's not human. So, Or that's at least where they come from. Are they still there? Who knows? I don't, I don't know. Um, so from elves to witches to trolls to God Hand themselves, um, they're all in this dimension. Now, does the God Hand and whoever rules them rule the astral plane as well? I have absolutely no idea. Do they also dictate destiny and fate in the astral or is it just on the human type thing? I have absolutely no idea. Um, is there a power struggle there or like is there no hierarchy and you can side with whatever you want I don't know do people fear the god hand over there do they not does it not matter I, I have absolutely no idea hopefully we'll get some uh, explanation on that as we go see how it goes press play on that Make sure that's good to go we are recording and that's on. All right. 206, let's do it. This hill upon which the church is built, it used to be a shrine to the spirits of this land. Many of the Holy See's churches are that way, literally crushing the sacred places of the spirit faith where they were built. The current doctrine of the Holy See is nothing more than a tool by which to display its own political power. People invoke the name of God when going to war. They invoke the name of God when seeking salvation and over and over. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you invoke it in pretty much everything, it seems. When the key that saves them may be hidden in the very ones they are trying to forget, perhaps. This is a different elf or something completely different? Or one of the two? I mean, not one of the two, it would have to be Valeria or whatever her name is. You mean you witches are included in that? Long ago, my mistress lived in a human habitation in this vicinity. She says she would go around the needy villages, conveying the spirit's voices to people, teaching about each season's weather, teaching about each season's weather and healing their sick. Who knows how many people were saved by my mistress's magic? When the Holy See's sphere of influence spread through the region, they began building churches and villages. As if they had made a complete turnaround, people ostracized her and drove her into the forest. Since then, my mistress has lived there, as if avoiding people's eyes and hiding. Now, even someone with magic abilities, do they not possess the power to walk between? To freely go between an open and closed door between dimensions, or no? I guess no, because even people as powerful as the god hand can't freely at least before this point in time walk in walk out um so what was the original how was she originally able to get here i don't quite know hopefully we'll get some clarification on that 
and now almost as if nothing's happened. I cannot forgive them. If not for my mistress' command, who would bother with such a place? You're not wrong. Is this elf we're seeing looking at them? Or maybe she's flashing back to this is a flashback in her head of like when her mistress was. Maybe, maybe that's what that is. And call it quits, right? If you don't feel like it, there's no need to endanger yourself for that nasty bunch. True, like what are we complaining about? You can do or do, do not. That old lady's gonna die soon too. All the more reason. Someone tells you to do something, you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. That's a fool's errand. Just kidding around. What do you expect? She really <laughs> she really is a kid, you know. You're not wrong. What an ill-mannered, insecure person. I'm the one who brought him along unintentionally, unwillingly. Someone like him could not be my fate, never. Perhaps. I like how we're that, this panel right here. I think you guys can see the cursor. It's her looking through and you can see the elf peeking down on the brim of her uh, hat. Hey, be still. Lady Farnese, it is not meaningless to tie the hair on Casca when she does not understand words. But Shirka said to do so. Thought transfers sends images, though I really don't understand. Yeah, don't move. <laughs> to be honest, I think this troll slaying, you know, this whole journey in the first place, even now, is something I really should stop. I don't know, man. So Pico is... Hey, she's getting a little uh, snappy with her. Now, what we hope doesn't happen gets to the point that Casca's even afraid of her. Then, just good luck. Good luck, bro. Good luck. There, now we're done. But she has changed. It's one thing I couldn't do. Yeah, no shit. That smile on her face. Perhaps it's for the best. Now we match. Perfect. This is the thought transference thing. How the hell is that gonna go when... She, when... Because... When she kind of transfers back, does it just go to one of them or all of them? So all of them have her hair. So at any point in time, she can mentally communicate with each single one of them and they could mentally communicate back to her but she can't like megaphone and connect to all of them um at once is what I took it as hopefully she doesn't communicate with Casca because that she starts hearing voices in her head she might she might already hear voices in her head I don't know what's going on in there spirits of the wind feathered to nothing blowing anywhere and everywhere it's ironic they are what is most alien to me. Uh-oh. Going down, boys. Get ready. They're here. The trolls to the church. Well, here we go. This is the squad. This is the Avengers Assemble moment. What's that in a way? Sir Pico, Lady Farnese. Hmm. It's game time. This is like the... uh Avengers Age of Ultron moment. They must surround and protect the church. They touch the church we lose. We must protect it. Trolls, what's with these numbers? A hundred? No more. of the No more. Those damn things. They've run out of things to steal, so this time they mean to eat everything. Hey, if we don't flee soon, we're in big trouble. First the horn. Oh, right. Everybody get your asses moving. Everyone to the church. It's a huge pack of trolls. I got that... I got that thought transference already. Sure is handy. We did too. Anyway, let us go to the church. All the villagers are gathering there. Uh-oh. Someone gonna go back for them or not? Trolls, troll. Oh, shit. Look at his little thing. It didn't do anything. Pika, remember Shirka's words. Be precise. <laughs> Why is his seat draw having to remind his ass? That's right. 
image, image, spirit, spirits. Yes, it felt like this. Oh, hey there. Whoa, here they come. Let me see something, man. I'm depending upon you spirits. Oh, and that's how the chapter ends. Holy shit. And that was a whole nother thing that I didn't even try to wrap my head around. And it might take a minute because I don't know when YouTube's going to see this video. Maybe the week of the 17th? Well, YouTube will either see this on the 17th, the 21st, or the 24th. One of those two. Patreon's going to see it on the 14th. Um, so it might take some time before more of you can start to explain. But the whole spirits thing and elementals and shit got a little deep there. And like, can the elementals be damaged? Do they just auto regenerate? Like, how does... I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I like that shot. Dang, if I could get Berserk all in color. Is this the first time we've seen Shirka colored? So green hair. Really? I want to see a shot of her. Again. So she's in all purple with green hair. Interesting. Huh. Kind of like it. I think Farnese's bob cut looks awful. <laughs> but I do like the uh, purple and green. And the color of the staff, it looks pretty great. It's pretty great. And they even gave the trolls color. Damn. Yeah, the green... I mean, I wouldn't have... I guess you could have given me any pick of colors. I don't know if I would have been like, oh yeah, green hair. But it looks... I like that. See, why can't they just do the panels like this, man? <laughs> you start it off and then burp right back to black and white. Here we go. Here we go. Dang, that's uh, pretty powerful. I don't even know what these things are or what I'm looking at, but it looks to be effective, perhaps. He's really doing something there. Maybe he was, wasn't knows oh it did work just a little delay because I saw it pass through them and I'm like wait did he miss because it definitely made contact hey he killed two real quick what was that what happened he slashed the trolls to pieces without even touching them oh no don't start now no 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 you didn't want us remember priest told us to leave you're more fierce than I expected, spirits. What about the other ones, bro? I was about to say, come on now. And he handles those. Okay. So Pico, the first to get the troll kills. Or now they... Oh, God. Mr. Pico's got more skill than that. Dang, these are... I would really love to see how these are... Uh, how these little kind of mystical weapons are being animated. Because I'm pretty... There's not a... I know there... I th what's there? Two anime versions of Berserk? But neither of them go this far, right? I think they both cut off at the Eclipse. Or post right after the Eclipse, to my knowledge. I could be wrong. I would love to see, like, the sound effects and the color on the, uh... The weapon, like, usage here. That works. Got him. So amazing. Real magic. Quite heartening in a fight against monsters. Maybe he'll start to become a more believer in this uh, said side quest we have going at the moment. Magic. It's magic. Real magic. Sir Pico, I'll be damned if you're going to have all the fun. Wins where it's at. Wins the bomb. I got to test thing. I got to test this thing's power. He's mine, don't jump in. <laughs> Let's go fire and the whole squad's in there. Yeah, get the hell up out of there. And I've been told that we're going to see Puck make a lot more like references and clothing changes to things that like have nothing to do with the world that like, they're in. I'm, I guess that'll be an interesting touch. 
just a one time. Everyone, please hurry and go. Like, can we move? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got his little, uh, little shuriken fucking, um, smoke bombs. They weren't very cool. Oh, it worked. Run or you'll be eaten. Damn it, Sal. Damn, it's all right for you. Well. Um, Guts, we, like, weapon and all, like, it's great, but we really kind of do need some help. Demons be gone. <laughs> uh, I don't think those things are doing anything, are they? That's not cutting it. Hold on now. They're eating their own wounded. Well, if you don't want to end up like that, run. <sighs> she did not just slip and fall, bro. The one person that would take, like, the longest to, like, get up and gather themselves and figure out what they've got to do, she falls. Oh, Lord. Aska. They were just going to sit there and accept that? Hey, kind of shouts out to Farnese, though. I don't know who saves them. Serpico, Isidro, Guts. Um... Not only did Farnese, like, turn around to see her, she went to her and straight up, and, like, you have... She means nothing to her, you know? Like, there's nothing that... What if they... When she first captured her, they had little... They had no relation at all. She was trying to kill her, by the way. It was fine doing it, too. They've been together for... A couple weeks at that. And she doesn't even speak. I wonder what the connection... Like, I wonder what it is that she feels. Is it friend? Is it sibling? Is it... Maybe damn near daughter? The way you have to kind of take care? Um... She jumped back with no hesitation. Was, I mean, this she looks ready to just accept death here. Interesting. Because you would think, like, would she have a Nina-type reaction where it's like, I should save her, but I can't. I haven't even saved, like, I haven't even achieved what I came here for, but, like, I also can't let her die. She just acted good on her. Ooh, that triggered him. <laughs> Look at the rage in his eyes. The panic. Are you alright? Yes. Lady Varnice laid down her life for someone else. Come on, stand up. She did. Wow, okay, so they're just completely surrounded. At least the townspeople got out of there now. Well, Isidro, this is the time for like a fire circle or something. We could really use it. Are we not, like, can we not, uh... Thought transfer back to her? Like, hey, we're in some real shit. Like, hello. Please. <laughs> the two heaviest hitters. Like, we really need some assistance. It would seem the talismanic power of the silver is working. I will open a path for escape. Please make for the church. Gonna hog all the fun again, huh? Oh. So the... The things that they made to protect them from the demons in the middle of the night. No, no, was it though? I can't rem because they ended up doing something to the curse marks that was supposed to keep the demons from swarming them at night. But that's separate from what the talismans are, correct? What were the difference between the talismans and what they did to? Because they did two specific things to Casca and uh, Guts's marks. Were the talismans just supposed to help ward away? And then they also did something to keep the demons away? Hmm. I don't know. Gotta lost that, uh, there. Everyone hurry inside. Look, someone's around it. He doesn't give a damn. They're that witch's companions. They stayed back so we could escape. A pity they're done for now. Fools, I did warn them. Yeah, right. You see that black cape coming in. Imbecile. The hand of man is no match for those things. Be not rash. To be honest, though, as much as he's probably a piece of shit, if it was anybody else, he kind of is speaking facts. But you know how this goes. I'm here to fuck shit up. 
Yeah. No magic. No talisman. You know, no spells or incantations. No elementals. I'm just here, bro. I'm here. They, uh, he said, I'm him. <laughs> he should have said, I'm him. Yeah, in front of everybody. Yeah, now nobody's going to want us to leave, by the way, once we like finish all this. Whenever this little uh, village arc ends. Shit. They'll be begging us to stay, probably paying. Huh? That'll do it. These are some great shots, though. Some great shots of Guts. Finally, like, non-injured, getting to actually, like, show off some skill. That one's pretty short. We'll throw in another one. Watch this be the longest of three. Alright, 208. Let's see what we got. I expect him to just clean this. And while he's cleaning this, Serpico needs to rally the others and get to the church with everybody else. That's my thought process, personally, on the situation. Like, let's not just all stand in awe. You've seen him slice monsters down hundreds of times. Can we... Can we move? Dang, look at the footwork. My oh, man's pivoting, sliding, gliding. Dang, we're really out here moving. It's that clean. <laughs> Isidro's got to be in su such awe right now. It's just raining blood right now, by the way. Literally, troll blood. Damn. In front of a crowd, too? I'm trying to think the last time he went off in front of people. And off in front of people that don't possess similar skills. We saw him cut down an apostle in front of the band of the hawk. But they all, you know, possess sword skill and could even offer assistance or help in little ways, you know, in other ways. These people are just straight up like fodder, like civilians, no training. And it's like their their village is getting ran through by men, like this troll, and they're just seeing him go off got to be pretty damn crazy and that would be why he has no need of magic <laughs> yeah you're correct ignorant saps bet that opened their eyes human windmill yeah correct you're correct this is our chance nasty run to the church did you see that father <laughs> I really like this, and that would be why he has no need of magic. Wow, he's good. That man could drive the trolls out of here. Okay, no, let's not all just let's relax because we don't know. Because this always goes good, and then watch the like, like the original Patient Zero, Apostle One Hundred One Troll or something come out, and we have to deal with it. Let's just relax. Oh wow, they saw it too. Nice. Whoa, whoa, that guy's amazing. That many trolls and without magic? I can't tell which side's more monstrous? Yeah. Yeah. Eventually you'll see the, uh... I'm sure they'll be there for a moment when it seems like the, uh... The demon's coming out of us. But we'll, we'll wait for that moment. True, he is superhuman. Is this another result of him remaining in the interstice? Where it's easy for the mind to affect matter, or... No, this is just... Pain. <laughs> this is just pain. Um, I don't know how to describe it. That shadow that coils about that sword? Are we prepared, Valeria? Valera? You know it. I stuck the charm, just like you said, on the wall in the direction you told me. All right, she's all yours. Um, <clears throat> everyone, everyone, please make haste inside. I will now use magic to extend a bulwark around the church. What are you doing up there? Okay, take father. Someone drags father's ass inside. Chief, please go and drag that girl down immediately. Uh, well, she said magic. I saw them. The girl's companions tore through those trolls without even laying a hand on them. She's here with... She's here with yonder swordsman? 
I don't know what yonder means. Like, uh, uh, sure. In that case, enough. The fact remains that it's dangerous here. Everyone inside. I was about to say we're over here bullshitting. Like, if you want to like tie her up and burn her at at the stake, sure. Do it after. We we just don't have the time. Ah, uh, and then she over here, uh, projecting to them. Please buy me some time. Lady Farnese inside as well. Casca's care is in your hands. Hey, you people, you should just stand back and throw berries. <laughs> I don't think so. I beseech you. Does he have to sit here and, like, Netero pray to it every single time? Maybe he's... He just doesn't. He just doesn't have it down yet. I'll I'll give him some slack for now. I'm trying to see this man. I'm wait. Are they just running? I wanted to see him bust out the flames, but honestly, I don't got time. Like for right now, if I'm a Cedro, what I do know or have some practice with is my original blade. We'll figure that shit out. So I'd rather go with something I know how to use that's gonna give me a chance, other than me sitting here trying to pray to something to get it to work. And it's just yeah. It's real, real magic. Look, he cut down trolls without touching them. Old man Morgan really brought them here. Magic users. He did. Show Morgan some respect. There's no magic in this. He's just busting ass. <laughs> you know, he's... Yeah. It, 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 this is just two opposite ends. Like... He's such a firm... I mean, like, he's like... At the, especially in this world... He's at, like, the top, like, he is a priest, like, he is a, the man of, the word of God, like, you know, sit here and try to explain something to him that cannot be explained. There's no way he accepts that, like, off the bat, or at all. Magic, absolutely ridiculous. I will not permit such behavior in this house of the Lord. What are you gonna do? Okay, he's gonna go up there and get himself killed, to be honest. That priest, he's, she's over here. Hitting them fucking incantations and shit. Bro. I do get what he's saying. But I also think there's a place in time. But maybe he thinks like if it does happen. That just kind of pisses on the whole name of like. The church and what this is. And what we stand for in the name of God and everything. But do you see this right now? Do you see this? What's literally coming after you. Is this the time to hold like a... Honestly, I guess the follow-up question would be, if not now, if I can't defend my faith now, like, when can I defend it? Just because it benefits me now is why I have to, like, let it slide? I guess. I do what you gotta do, man. Because if he falters now, how can he speak it, you know, and still have faith in it? Just because now the, the trouble, the danger time is over. So do what you gotta do, man. Hopefully you don't fall off of there and die. Stop that. Hey, what gives? We're busy right now, so keep back, buddy. No, never. Such a wicked deed as this before God? Come down from here this instant. What are you going to do, shoot us? What are you talking about? What do you think Shirka's doing this for? Wow. He just backhanded the shit out of her. I'm telling you to stop. Oh, no. You are the one who must stop. Here's my thing, though. I'm great that this is going to be a Farnese moment. Casca just needs to not be, man. Like, now she's going to be Humpty Dumpty Scarlet takes a tumble off the top of the roof, and that girl is attempting to protect the village. Can you not see that? With her magic, she can do it. We were saved, too. Silence. Even, even should I live until the fullness of my days... If it's because I relied upon some wicked intervention, what would mean it? that That's what I was saying about him earlier. Like, if he can't stand up for his faith and his religion right now, then he might as well just throw it all away. This is the will of God. The village should entrust all to the fate. God, it sounded like Mosgus, man. This man's the same. Same as, yeah, just blindly just following Sending people to their deaths in the name of God. Yeah, you chalk it up to something. No right to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I have no right to speak. She was no different. But I do appreciate the effort. But that's not you anymore, so I mean, you could try. 
Now, what is this moment here, though? Is this a... Like, is there nothing to this moment? Casca's just like, oh, where are you going? Grabs her. Or is this Casca kind of acknowledging, like, you know, we came up... I, I don't know. I don't want to read too much into it because Casca's literally given us nothing, so I'm not going to take this as Casca acknowledging the situation and trying to get her to, like, actually stay or say something. I think it's just kind of like, oh, you're going? Well, I'm going to grab you. Yeah, so, eh. So my words mean nothing to you. Stop him. Sugar's in a trance while she's... Oh, so she can't even... She's fully, like, eyes rolled back. Just has no idea what's going around. There's no time to be unsure. Let go of her. Don't interfere. Somebody give us... Is she gonna kill him? Oh, they're coming up on the roof. What the hell, man? You see what I'm saying? So we come up here. Casca comes with us. Now they're coming up here. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm-mm. What to do? What to do? Are these trolls, I'm assuming? And they're just being animated like that? So they got inside already? This just seems all like shit. Um, I do applaud Farnese. I mean, this is this is one of the, again, when they give us these colored things at the beginning, they're pretty great. Pretty, pretty great. Um, this is one of the better ones. I think just the deep, just seeing like, uh, Shirka in color is, I mean, you really can't complain about it. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, pretty fun three chapters. Nothing crazy. Like this is, this is warm ups. This is shoot around for guts right here. We're just out here getting loose, <laughs> trying to keep the skills fresh before the main event, whatever that may or may not be. Um, Sharpico, you know, stepping up there a little bit. If not for him, they probably die there in that moment, at least before Guts gets there. Um, I do want to see Isidro kind of get his moment there to use his weapons. It doesn't have to be now, but I would like to see it. You can even see it animated right here. You see how they have his little, uh, actually, you guys probably can't see my cursor. I gotta move it this way. You guys see how they have his, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There it is. His little, like, uh, dagger is on fire so hopefully we'll kind of see that in action um that's out to Farnese I mean she seems to kind of be developing a voice and a mind and a thought process and the Pico's like oh well she is smiling so something's changed within her and you know she went and protected somebody else without even thinking about it and she had enough thought to go up there uh Granted, it probably puts her and Casca in more danger, but it probably does help overall. Um, so, I, I mean, like I said, I think Casca and Farnese are both going to be good for each other. It gives it gives Farnese responsibility, so she doesn't feel completely useless on this adventure. Um, even though she still feels like she can't do anything, like I'm just on protection duty. But then it also gives somebody on the flip side, of, like Casca someone to not be intimidated by, someone to be comfortable around. Because even if you had this whole situation, just remove Farnese and say Sir Pico's here and he wants to like find his own journey. It, there would be nothing for Casca. Like, who does she cling to? Like, what does she do? Um, so they're both helping each other. Guts is just doing his thing. Um, and I'm kind of curious to see how this gets handled. Again, this is one of the better... Because we, we get color panels like this all the time at the starts of new chapters. Um, this one's pretty great. Pretty good. I, I think the Shirka color makes it just pop that much better. So go ahead and leave it there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, as always.